All right, what up, tipsters? Online tipsters back in the building with another video. Today, we're going to show you how you can strategically map your helium mining for maximum profits. All right, we're going to show you two tools to use. And before we get into it, please subscribe, hit the bell so you can get notified anytime that we create new videos. All right. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So here we are on Helium Explorer. Um, this is what most people use just because it's on Helium's website. But today we're going to show you two new maps that we're actually using to help us strategically place our helium miners. All right, guys. So as you can see right here, we're actually using Helium Vision. Now, this app is truly unique. What's what's really awesome about this map is now it it they do you do get 10 credits for free on here. And what I mean by credits is that you can actually place okay. Let, let me go down here and give you guys a demonstration. So we're gonna use Camden today, Camden, New Jersey. So for, cool. Yeah, it is, it is. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so cool dude it's it's dope man so we're going to give you we're going to show you camden right now just for an example and what's cool about helium vision is that you can um click placement here and let's just say i don't know let's say you live here guys right you could click there and this is actually going to place you know that unit there and um you can pretty much strategically set up assimilation through here and um i'm not going to use my credit right now but um you know you can really get an idea of like what you would roughly make um, with your miner in this area due to the location of the other units. And as you can see here, it gives you a score. So if somebody, let's say if we placed our unit, you know, right in here, um, you know, this is a good score. This is getting a uh, 4.87 here. And also what you, what you would be able to do guys is you would come over to, um, you know, the, the helium, Minor and in that actual location in Camden, New Jersey, uh, just so it's just so we can go ahead and look at it, um, is doing very well. So, you know, you would you would be able to go onto the main helium website and actually click on view hotspot, check out the rewards, and um, you would actually see that this miner is doing very well 451 <laughs> helium tokens. Per month 451 per yeah. month bro. Crazy. Crazy. yo and and guys like we're looking at camden new jersey um miles right now is um in you know in uh in and around philadelphia um so we you know we we're a team we work together we're trying to figure out where we're going to place our miners once we get them so this is this is um why we're showing you camden new jersey the reason i'm saying that is because if you don't happen to have a lot of miners around you, it would behoove you to try to get three or four of those things so you can kind of set up your own network. But we, you know, we were fortunate enough to to have access to a place that has other miners around. So that's why we're looking at this this way. The height of your miner is a um is a big deal. Okay. So like as you can see, this is across the river, right here, across the um the Schuylkill. And um you know this 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 miner here is in camden and look how many units are connecting to it guys i mean you got all these these you know so basically you know what it looks like to me is that all these are actually above uh this guy here in camden or maybe they even in camden they have like an antenna going real high up in, in the air i could give you another example of this as well real fast just give you a quick example all right guys so yeah so as you can see when we come over here and we look at this unit right here and we click on that and we go to view hotspot even though it's quite a ways from these other units down here right um it's still connecting to them so it's uh it's not necessarily 350 meters away from it but because the elevation of that location is higher than these units in conchahawken conchahawken is a lot lower than over there in Norristown and plymouth meeting um, that unit is able to pick up those signals from a far distance. And um, this unit's actually doing pretty well as well. Um, it's doing 148 per month. So that's just pretty good. A couple thousand dollars a month. Yeah. Yeah, um, definitely. 
So guys, let's get, so we're going to get back on track. So what we're, what we're doing is we're using this tool and we're using none other than Google Earth. What's really cool about Google Earth is that you can literally map out where you want to go. And, 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 and what's really cool too is we can go ahead and click on the squares here. Choose this selection right here, everything. That way you can see the roads. Now let's just say um, you happen to live, um, you know, by the grocery store here. Let's just let's just play around. Let's say this is my house here. Okay. So what I can do is down here in the bottom left, you can click this little um, add placement marker, and you can mark your house. So I could click on there one time there, and I I I would put my house right. Okay. We're just pretending this is where I live. All right, save. So now that marker is there, guys, right? So now let's just say our cousin Jason lives over here, right? So let's say, let's, so we're like, oh man, Jason, should we put this at your house? Like, I don't know, man. Are you more than, is this longer than 300 meters? I don't know. Well, what's cool, guys, is Google Map is going to show you the actual distance from one marker to another. And the way you would do that is you would come down here on this little ruler measure distance area and you'd be able to click on that and you can click right here and drag and see the distance right so let's just go we'll say ah oh, man you know it's 200 meters you know what let's let's go put it at uh let's go put it up at mike's house let's see let's see where mike's oh yeah cool 400 and um 48 uh feet mike's house let's let's go there so then you can put that marker there right guys next thing you know you click here you're gonna we're gonna get ahead and mark mike's house right so let's just say where were we right here boom so we're gonna say Mike's house, okay? And 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 the thing is, guys, you you don't want to be too close with your miners because if you are, then you're kind of taken away from each other's rewards, okay? So that's that. Then we would say, okay, well, where's John? John lives over by um the liquor store. John lives on top of the liquor store. So um, let's actually um. Let's measure and see how far we would be from the liquor store. Is that 350 meters? Oh man, that's that's 800. That's that's in good distance. I, you know, we should be able to to um, read each other. Cool. So next thing you know, again, you come down here and you're going to marker, put the marker right where Bill's liquor store is. Um, so um, you know, we'll put a uh, John. John lives here, right? Cool. Bam. So now it's my house. We got um we got Mike's house. We got uh John. John lives at the liquor store. And um then we can say, okay, man, let's hook up Jason's uh location, right? So again, guys, simple, simple stuff here. We'll click this ruler, we'll click where we got John. Jason lives down here on uh let's just say Jason lives here. Oh, he's 600 meters away. Cool, no problem. We'll throw that bad boy there, okay. So what we'll do is we'll grab this and uh, oops, grab that and we'll mark Jason's house. So we'll say Jason. Okay. So now Jason lives there. Save it. Now we got four markers here. Now, if we actually took this ruler and we went here, we, we might actually be able to get away with putting one in the middle, which would actually be able to connect pretty good with all these guys. Right. So, um, which let's see, it's 350, that's 800, that's right. See, it's 400 in between those, so we can actually have one here as well. Let's let's take a look. How much is that to there? Let's see. Uh, and if, again, you're gonna turn the ruler off, turn it back on. Let's see if this one goes in the middle. Guys, 400, eight, so we're good. So we can actually have one. All right, man, let's go ask somebody that you know lives there. Next thing you know, boom, you get one in the middle. So now, guys, as you can see, Google Map, is very beneficial for marking and, and really learning your distance while you're using these helium miners. So you definitely want to get on here. It's, it's a free website for you to use. And um, also, uh, don't forget, check out Helium Vision. Um, they got some really cool features here on Helium Vision. Um, I'm not going to go over all of them. This isn't, you know, this isn't a Helium Vision tutorial, <laughs> but definitely check this out. And, um, uh, you know, we hope this really helps you with your build inside of um, your Helium network. All right, tipsters.
So do me a favor, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified anytime that we do more Helium videos or any other videos that we have coming out. If you guys want to find out how you can get your miners a little bit faster, click the link in the description. It's a link to a company that me and Miles are using to get our miners faster than we're getting them through the Helium site. So just click the link in the description. You guys will find out how you can actually get your miner faster. All right. So tipsters, until the next time, we'll see you on the next video. All right. Peace.